How many people actually listen to me about getting prepared for KYC? How many people are ready for the next step when Pi hits main it? Well, ready or not, the time is upon us. In this video, I will take you through a journey that will put rest to your fears. You will know the truth about the price of Pi. You will also be able to understand why it is important to continue the support for the Pi network and the quest for financial success. If you would like to know more, stay tuned. I will not waste your time in precious data. Taking you round the bend, I will go straight to the point. For the new pioneers or those interested in joining the Pi Network, I will leave a link in the description to some videos to watch. For the rest of you who have been in the Pi Network environment for a long time, I will say, listen carefully and watch closely. Many skeptics have said that the Pi Network is a scam or that it will not command a great value. I will give answers to all these in a bit. Before I begin, let me introduce you to some statistics of what makes a good crypto coin or token. Yes, there is a difference. Crypto coins are essentially digital versions of money. Tokens can stand for assets or deeds. You can buy tokens with coins, but some tokens can carry more value than any of them. For example, a company share. The blockchain terms, token and cryptocurrency, are often used interchangeably as these are both digital assets on blockchains. The biggest difference between a cryptocurrency and a token is that cryptocurrencies are the native asset of a blockchain like BTC, RBTC, or ETH, whereas tokens are built on an existing blockchain using smart contracts. Some examples of the crypto tokens are Tether, UST, Dogecoin, Doge, Binance Coin, BNB, Litecoin, Ripple, Tezos, XTZ, Cardano, ADA. Going by this, you will realize that tokens represent assets, while crypto coins can be tender. While examples of crypto coin is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, ADA, Binance Coin, BNB, Tether, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin. Yes, your guess is as good as mine. Pi Network is in the category of crypto coin, meaning it will be used as means of exchange or payment for goods and services. Now the next question is to understand how this value will be ascertained or gotten. I have repeatedly stressed it out in most of my past videos. But because I'm a nice guy, I will repeat it again, this time with better emphasis. But not until I introduce you to some new coins and tokens that have high value at the exchanges. And some old coins and tokens that also command high value. Trust me, you might not have heard about them. I will begin with a coin that is closely chasing Bitcoin in value, and yes, it is way more valued at price than Ethereum. Let me begin with new coins and tokens. The first on my list is Gods Unchained. Gods Unchained is a free-to-play tactical card game that gives players true ownership of their in-game items. Gods is an ERC-20 token used as premium currency within the GU ecosystem. The market price is $4.44. The next is Bodge Token, a yield farm that aims to attain sustainable and steady price action. The current value as of today is $435.49. The next on my list is the Yearn.Finance, IFI. Yearn.Finance is an aggregator service for decentralized finance, DeFi investors using automation to allow them to maximize profits from yield farming. Its goal is to simplify the ever-expanding DeFi space for investors who are not technically minded or who wish to interact in a less committal manner than serious traders. Launched in February 2020, the service, formerly known as iEarn, has seen a huge growth in recent months as new products debuted and developers released in-house token YFI. The current value for today is $34,638.75. Notice that this crypto only just got into the space 2020 and it is commanding that much value. But no one is talking about it, unlike Bitcoin. Calm down, relax, take a deep breath. Pi Network has built around it the community, the support, the dApps, the ecosystem, and the distribution that some of these coins and tokens don't have and some people still think that Pi Network will not make it up to the $100 mark. 
Next time some people call your attention to how Pi Network will not command value or price, send them to this video and the statistics available in the open domain. There are so many other coins and tokens that I would love to introduce in this video, but I will only excite but at the same bore you. Look out for some of them yourself. When doing so, look out for the following. The market cap, volume, circulating supply, and the current price. Also, take a sneak peek at their community platforms. This gives an idea of the global acceptance. Pi Network has got most of these locked down, which are essential to determining price for a coin, especially support and acceptance. Until my next video, consider subscribing to my channel if you are new and join my Telegram channel for more info. Hey, remember, keep mining.